I'm Margaret Benefield, and I'm the Executive Director of the Shalem Institute for Spiritual Formation. I'm also the Program Director for the Soul of Leadership Program. The Soul of Leadership Program started in 2012 in Boston, and since then it has been offered in Boston, in Birmingham, UK, in Tennessee, in California, in Washington, D.C., and it will soon be offered in Korea. And we are now on our 12th cohort, so seven years and 12 cohorts. And we have found over the years that a great deal of transformation occurs in people in the soul of leadership process. We have found that uh, people from all different leadership settings in um, nonprofits, the um, church settings, um, in business, in education, entrepreneurs, retired people who are wondering how their leadership skills can be used in their retirement years, uh, in the humanitarian aid sector, all different settings. People have found that the soul of leadership is helpful to them. You may know that studies show that in most organizations, only about 25% of the employees are fully engaged. And we find in the soul of leadership that the leadership skills that people learn help people be more fully engaged so that they can be more productive in their work, enjoy their work and their colleagues, and fulfill the mission of the organization better. Also, uh, you may know that, uh, that many teams struggle to make decisions. Studies show that 50% of managerial decisions fail, and on the strategic level, it's even a higher failure rate. And we found in the soul of leadership that as people learn to reflect more deeply on their decisions, use skills of discernment and deeper awareness, that their decisions are more effective and that decision uh, rate of successful decisions goes way up. And finally, we have found that people who go through the Soul of Leadership program are able to lead more effective teams, that by building stronger relationships, building better communication skills, showing respect for one another, listening deeply, learning to honor one another's gifts, the teams can thrive and can work much more effectively to fulfill the organizational mission. So I hope that you'll consider coming on the Soul of Leadership program. And uh, also, I hope that you will consider funding the Soul of Leadership program.